everybody's and curls it's melissa q thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat and out of all the youtube universe you decided to come in and chit chat with your girl and we have someone special today i can't believe it this is like the youtuber <laughs> that i wanted to meet serene Wu. y'all know i've talked about her before but Y'all, she has an amazing channel. I kid you not. I know y'all hear me say that all the time, but I literally like relax and chill on your channel. That's, it's, that's what I love. Her content is amazing, and y'all know I don't. I keep 100, so. Subscribe! Yes, and she's almost at 100K. She did not tell me to say this. I'm saying it. I, Go subscribe. You guys. I'm going to be dead in my grave before I. <laughs> no, she, no, she's not. She's like. She's shy of, I think, like 4,000. Yeah, but it has been so slow. I know, but let's speed her up, okay? 100, <laughs> 100K, she gets the YouTube plaque. If you are from Serene's channel, I just want to welcome you guys. I hope you stick around and love something on my channel. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm excited to be here. But today we're going to talk about like investment pieces. Y'all know that I kind of like made a shift on my channel in terms of like Project Pan. You're going to see some other things. By the time this is aired, you're going to see the series Can I Do That? Which is a part of the save, let's save 10K. And I made that a hashtag now. Okay, cool. Let's save 10K. So if you're with me, I will link that over here so you guys can check it out over here. Uh, and you will get to see like I'm project panning and we're gonna save some money like I love feel beautiful look beautiful that's um, kind of like Serene's motto that's why I love that she talks about that even in your um, I guess like your outro you talk yeah. about that being the part of your channel and every woman wants to feel like that but you should, should never feel overwhelmed to buy items and so we Today, we're going to talk about investment pieces. Um, we have six you, each, right? Yeah, we have six each. So we'll what we'll do is like, um, you'll do one, I'll do one, we'll go back and forth. And so... I, I get to go first. This is our house. She'll kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so I have a lot of skincare stuff, actually. The first thing is this Moon your uh, Body Toning Serum. I just call it the moon body serum body toning yeah so i went through the sample size and then i wanted to get the large one and they surprised me and sent me the full size nice. um so i didn't actually purchase this but i would have mm -hmm. and i will because i'm almost out this stuff oh, is glass yeah it's super luxurious it's all organic and natural and i've actually noticed that like smooths because i you know we all have little like stretch marks or like you know things so I specifically use this on the back of my thighs and my knees and the bust area because I'm starting to notice like I have wrinkles in between my boobs um it's like the problem of having bigger boobs yes yeah so it's like yay we have bigger boobs but ooh now there's like these weird wrinkle lines I think I'm gonna have to slap, slap <laughs> like butter on my whole entire body my belly well, so Everywhere. with diet and exercise, obviously, right, but right, I find right. that after exfoliating and then using this on like damp skin, I really did notice a diminishing effect. What do you think? Can I see that? Yeah. Do what do you think um, in the ingredients? Oh, these are some really good ingredients. Well, the rose hip seed oil also helps with um, discoloration and all that stuff, and there is lavender oil which is soothing and here's the problem with a lot of the cleaner beauty is that they put lavender oil in their products a lot of the times I can't use it on my face because so you wouldn't use this on your face I would not use that on my face but you could uh they have a serum from the same line for your face and I would use that one on my face I want to like take a screenshot of this can I smell it yeah I was gonna like squeeze some out just but squeeze them out it's oil. Oh, well, it smells good though. It's very oily. I'm a, I love oils. Okay. Like face oil. You know dry yeah. girls. We love face oils. So it hydrates, it, it tones. Good. Um, I definitely still apply like moisturizer around it mm -hmm. and then over it. But it's expensive considering this is how much you get for a whole bottle and you're but using it's three it on your ounces, body. right? Oh you're yeah, using yeah. It on your body. Yeah. Huh. But I need more. But this is something that I realized not only great for my hair but it's good for your skin oh my gosh I've been wanting to get one a silk pillowcase mm -hmm. <laughs> what 
Pat brought her what? <gasps> Did you <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> this I, one is. Have I? Am I like taking this from you? No, I have an extra one. Okay. I have like three. Oh my gosh! Thank you so. You're much. welcome. But this is a silk pillowcase. This one is from Ebony Curls. This to me is more realistic for my lifestyle. And so I saw this on Mary Kay. They had this with. Um, they had this silk pillowcase with their skincare, like their anti-aging, oh. and it made sense because you don't want your hair to dry out. You don't want your skin to dry out either. Well, not just that. It's supposed to be better for like. Because I, I can't, I've tried. I've tried to sleep on my back. I can't. I have Me to sleep neither. on my side. Yeah. So, but it like squishes your face. But not only that, just think, cotton is going to absorb all that product that you put on your face. Oh. It's going to absorb all of that skincare, all that good stuff that you just put on. So this, all I do is you just dress your bed, your pillowcase like you usually do, and just slip this over it. And you can just have this on your side. And she has it in different colors and designs and stuff. So this is not yeah. the only design that she has. But I'll link her information down below. I love. I cannot live without my silk pillowcase. <laughs> I like that I can just slip it over my current one. Right. Right. Yeah. So. Thank you. And she likes gray. I do like gray. <laughs> cool. Um, okay. So my next item is the Diptyque Eau de Well fragrance. And I wouldn't say you have to get this one or I recommend this one. I, I recommend. Yes, Dolly. That was my dog snoring at us. Um, so I am very sensitive to fragrances and unfortunately I get headaches from a lot mm -hmm. and they turn on me. So while I might like it in the store, give it to me for like a whole day and I can't wear it. So this one I've had for two years. It doesn't look like I used any of it, but I really have. It's very warm. It looks a lot though. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. It's like... It has like a vanilla. Vanilla. Warm. I would say a warm vanilla. But not sickly sweet. No. Um, so, as women or men, I think we should really that invest. Nice. We should invest in something that makes us feel... Mm -hmm. Like, because when I feel like I don't smell good, I don't... You know, like, who wants to not feel like they smell good? Right. Um, so... Whether, whatever it is, I think investing in a fragrance that you know you love and you can wear year-round, and when you see it, it's, like, pretty. And yeah. So, yeah, that's my second little investment tip. Okay, so, Serene talked about her favorite fragrance, and I totally agree that I think every person, not just women, but yeah. every person should have, like, a scent that they should always, like, a go-to scent. I feel like a go-to almost, like, everything, but, um, I like the way that one smells. This one is, um, E. Saint Laurent, the Black Opium. I love this. Now, like, you're sensitive to smell, so I don't know how that mm. would be to you. It's kind of sweet, but it's also warm. I love this. I love, um, I don't, know all the notes in here i think patchouli is in here and i've noticed that a lot of perfumes that have patchouli in it i like so this is my like signature scent i love i actually really love how that one's with smells i it's think that was like, like every like a yeah. great every day it's like a sister to that yeah this one smells a little bit more warm and sensual and almost a little bit like mm, i probably would wear this more during the fall but yeah i definitely think that investing in a scent like serene said is a great investment to your lifestyle i don't even want to say collection because sometimes we get so caught up into makeup that we just don't talk about investments into other things so yeah yeah so the next thing sticking with diptyque is a candle now this is like the most i've ever spent on a candle i think it's a hundred dollars mm -hmm. but Oh. It's Diptyque's Bays and it comes in a black, like I specifically want the black packaging. Okay. Because when you burn through it, well first I think this looks so chic. I know what you're going to say. I, I know what you're going to say after you burn oh through God. what you're going to do. You repurpose it. Yes. For makeup brushes, for lip pencils. You can repurpose it and it's like the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, I originally bought it just because I wanted the black mm -hmm. candle. Mm -hmm. But this, if I light it, 
I, this is this lives on my desk if I light it the entire floor all the way down the hall smells and like Karina is the, on the floor below me working and she'll come up for whatever reason and she'll be like 50 feet away and being like what is that smell like in a good way mm -hmm. so this is very aromatic it it will smell up your entire floor and it lasts a really long time I've had this since winter what Mm -hmm. I've seen dip cheek. I, I never knew the name of it, but I've seen people with makeup brushes and they yeah. they would have like a dip cheek um, type of um, a glass one. And yeah. I'm like, oh, that's this, what, this and is, I didn't know that they made cologne either. Yeah. So this is literally the gift that keeps on giving because I don't even light it sometimes and I'll be at the computer and I'll get a whiff of it. It just makes me happy. And I see it and it looks pretty. I love um, scents though. Yeah. I'm a scent person. So it's a really... You know, invest in one really great candle that keeps giving. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since you now you know after you burn it, you're going to do something with it. Like yeah. Repurpose it again. Uh, that's I wouldn't cool. say buy an expensive candle just to burn. I would say it has to come in like a cool jar. Right. So, right. And Let's see what we're going to talk about. Let's talk about these. These actually, <laughs> you see these excited, Serene? Because we are shoe hoarders. <laughs> I I can't take credit for these. Where'd you get them? My friend here on YouTube, she's actually, I call her my sister from the other mister. That's that's actually what I call her. And CJ knows I talk about. We've done oh, a I couple of collabs. CJ. Yeah, yeah. Beauty Essentials, right? So she talked about these. And when she showed me, she was like, girl, these are Valentino dupes. And like we love these. Seriously. Like, and um, when she saw these, when... Serene owns some Valentino y'all. So when it can fool the person that actually has the real deal, you have done a real a true dupe. These are pretty like intensely perfectly duped. Yeah. And so these are from BCBG. And I got this from DSW with a gift card from somebody who like for Christmas. Okay. Wait, wait. So I didn't even pay for these. I got this with a gift card. So these are still, even though you have gift cards use them don't just spend them spend them on investment things i don't know how they got away with this this is literally like a dupe right yeah bcbg okay i found out jessica simpson has some pink ones that i want to get just like this but they're pink the the heel is pink but i not only do you need to invest in shoes but i feel like everybody needs to invest in a nude shoe yeah that's the that's what um, this is like when I'm going to an event and because BCBG is like covered up, they're thinking I'm wearing Valentino's, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So she actually told me about these, uh, CJ and they actually have one that's all black. They actually have one that's, um, um, black and then the, the, it's patent leather, but it's nude. They uh -huh. have a, have it suede. So they have different, like, how comfy are these though? These are very comfortable. Okay. That's why I'm going to get, when you find an investment piece that's another thing I was gonna say get it in every color that you love it because I've been pregnant your feet get bigger mm -hmm. and everything and I'm not about that still out of life anymore like something happens when you turn 30 like I, I feel like yeah. I got rid of all of my I used to buy the cheapest highest heels yes. oh my god even, even like well you know I'm even at first I was like okay now I'm gonna invest in clothing and stuff but now I'm more so invest in accessory pieces if you're going to like if you're gonna go the bougie route <laughs> invest in accessories and I feel like shoes because that's the easiest way to look put together I feel like so I wear this I wear I'm so casual it's just my shoes and my handbag yes so no definitely invest in some new shoes but some good ones and i feel like yeah. these are very comfortable they're the color that i want they're um they're i mean even if these weren't dupes this is something that my it it's just everything about this shoe i love because i loved that it's semi-caged i don't know if that makes sense yeah no it that has it's closed. still something because like you could get a nude pump but that's boring and this is the I think I get the most out of all the shoes that I have, and I have more expensive than this. This is the most complimented shoe that I've ever gotten. So you need good girlfriends that tell you about good shoes. And yeah, 
Um, so this is a incredibly expensive eye cream. It's from Retrove, Retrove, and it is the Revitalizing Eye Concentrate. So this is more of an eye oil gel. It's four hundred dollars. It's really, it's really ex expensive. But I've had it for months because look how much product you get. Well, eye creams, period. I feel like are that's the hardest thing to shop for. Honestly, most eye creams to me, I'm like, meh, whatevs. It right. works, it works, right. it works. It's fine. This isn't giving me my milia because I do have milia mm -hmm. on the inner corners. So I'm like, oh, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Um, and I recommend tons of eye creams that are way more affordable, but eye creams in general are kind of expensive. Yeah. On top of that, a lot of them don't really do anything. This one hydrates my dry under eyes because it's so oily. Like, it's really oily. Oh, like, I'm not going to pump it. I'm just going to ask you, like, put it. Here. Just. It's, like, super oily. Does it have a scent? A little bit. It doesn't, like, barely. What um, kind of oils are in there, can I ask? Um, I, I feel know. like almost like, <laughs> like, I can't, like. I know squalene is, I don't have a oh, packaging. Oh, squalene, any, okay. But the main, like, base, the carrier oil is squalene, squalene. which is amazing because it's, the most natural to our, uh, it's squalene is the closest to our natural sebum. Okay, okay. Um, even more so than jojoba. Both, like okay. jojoba and squalene are like very okay, neck and neck. I think jojoba might get a better rap for whatever reason. I can't remember now, mm -hmm. but so there's that. It 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 genuinely like helps with my dark circles, my fine lines, my milia. It hydrates. I only use it at night. It's mm -hmm, my because mm -hmm. it's so oily. What's the exposure? How long does it last? Well, it comes in a black packaging that's so it keeps it that's in a pump. Mm -hmm. um, this twelve months. Oh, good. Because I'm gonna tell you. I, well, I haven't aired this on my channel yet, but I did film it, which were my favorite eye creams, and I noticed most of them had like a six month mark. Because like they're a in six, a jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Because most of the I I think. Even the ones that were like in a tube or something did say eight to twelve, but um, I would invest. I, I would say in any case over makeup, hands down, invest in skincare. Like my skincare costs mm -hmm. the most than my makeup. I would say. I would say my skincare costs more than my clothes. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. But no, <laughs> like I think eye creams are the hardest thing. So if it works and if if it's your problem area yeah because mine is my problem eyes is my like i have puffy eyes and dark circles so i would say even i may not pay a more i may not pay a lot on my cleanser but definitely like things that i want to be corrected yeah is what i'm gonna spend my money on so i and i know how much fillers are now they're expensive so what is that if that's, if that's botox in the bottle yeah. i'll take it please this is preventing <laughs> me having to go get yeah this taken care of yeah um I now mean, you have me very intrigued i mean it's real i would go and ask for a sample before you where do you get it from um i think barney's and neiman's carries it does blue Mer mercury have you ever been a blue? Yeah, I don't think they no. carry it yet. It's a very no. small brand. So basically the founder never intended to sell her products. She had she had worked at Kiehl's um, and retired. And her and her husband are in Malibu and they were just making their own product, like without cost. Like without thinking about cost, they made their own products. And there's only four products in the whole line, last I checked, which was a year ago. And their friends and family were like, can we get some of this stuff? And what is it called? Retrove? Uh, Retrove. Retro. Retro. Now you got me intrigued. Are they on, they're not a, a new brand that's coming to Beautylish, are they? Probably not. Because they just don't care about that. I know, but I saw someone, um, I saw Beautylish send me a brand about a, um, a woman that makes her homemade like stuff at home. Oh, and well, it I don't know about them making this at home anymore, but and, uh, yeah, but it's like that's how it started. Oh, you know? okay. Uh, I don't know. I feel like she still made it in the lab, but it was very small quantities. Mm -hmm. But so essentially, this brand was created not thinking about marketing, not thinking about price point. It was just the best of the best, right? To 
for themselves to use, and it just kind of grew from there. So, which that's, in actuality should be really everybody. Well, but that's why there's no fillers. That's why that's why it's priced the way it's priced because they weren't thinking about mass market. Right, they're thinking about like quality of the product and the ingredients and yeah i mean think about it it's in the perfect packaging this is how eye cream should be packaged yeah in a pump in a dark bottle i know we haven't talked about makeup but um i'm gonna talk about this one and it's it's the purpose of it not necessarily the product itself and this is the becca chrissy tegan i do have um the tart Makeup Shayla. The purpose, what I'm talking about is invest in a multi-purpose makeup product. So I do have a palette that I use less every day that I can also do my brows with. You know, um, this is a product that I can use that has my blush, my bronzer, my highlighters, but I also use this as my transition shade. I saw that. And um, I could actually use this as a eyeshadow if I wanted to. And I could also use these as eyeshadows. You did and, today too. Yeah, I sure did, yeah. I used um, Beach Nectar as my lid shade. This as my transition. Actually, I use this as my eye palette and my face palette. So this was like a one-stop shop. So these are great. This one is great because it has a great mirror. You know, I, I would say invest in a product that kind of gives you some, like, a couple of things yeah. in one. Think, yeah. Like, do you have something that you, like, just go to? Like, you know what? The palette that you just bought. Uh, um, so... I know, I know this is more than six, you guys, but I'm just like saying, I feel like that these are the products we, we're talking about consumerism, but at the same time, we know everybody wants to like look and feel pretty and um, these are going to last us for a long, long time. So this is the newest Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette to go. So it has everything you need. You might just, you'll need a mascara and eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Or you could just, if you need, do a soft line, you could use one of the darker shades. I don't know, would this be dark enough for your eyeliner? Probably what, not. Yeah, these two? These two? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So um, I wouldn't even have to have an eyeliner, but definitely mascara mm -hmm. and a lip balm. And I'd be good. Like, this is all you need. It has a decent sized mirror as well. Yeah. Um, thin. And, and look, they're almost, they're kind of like the same size. Yeah. Which is a really good, uh, this is compact enough for travel. Mm -hmm. You could take it on vacation. So. Yeah. So, these are great. Yeah. So, my next thing is this tub. Um, it's the Nanu Conditioner from Davins. Davins. Um gonna get a lot of comments about not knowing how to pronounce things but this I bought at the salon because they bleached my hair like from here down mm -hmm. they had they stripped it I'm platinum and then they put color in um, I had never t had tangly hair my hair had never felt coarse before until doing that and they didn't damage my hair I didn't lose any length or anything but I definitely had to protect it and so this was the conditioner that I was recommended to get from the salon and it's thirty dollars <laughs> now before i colored my hair i rarely paid more than ten dollars mm -hmm. for shampoo and conditioner i just didn't i spend money on my yeah <laughs> i know you, you, know. you spend money yeah. that's not where i spend money mm -hmm. now i have to because mm -hmm. well luckily pravana i use their shampoo and conditioner to maintain the tone of my mm -hmm. color mm -hmm. but this like when i feel like my hair has just been fried mm -hmm. i put this on and my it's like immediate yeah it's insane. But this is like like my favorite makeup bag slash travel slash weekender, like how to pack your makeup because I was always scared to like pack glass bottles and stuff because of this and it has dividers. Now, it is not the neatest thing that I've done here, but I like the fact that I can divide stuff or whatever. And this flap right here, I can put my brushes. Oh, here. that's so cool. Yeah, and then it has a pocket here. I put my sponges in here. Oh, yeah, so they stay nice and clean. Yeah, and what I did with the Christy Tegan palette was after I finished everything, I just lay it on top and then I just close it. But this was 20 bucks. This was 20 bucks, and I saw somebody have a more expensive one, but I just, you know, Amazon has everything. I believe in compartmentalizing, but I don't want, I used to be like, have a bag for everything, and I was just like, I can't take it. Yeah. And, you know, it's 
still not gonna move even when I hold it like this it's child proof <laughs> that's the main thing and it's it won't get messy like even if you put something you would be able to wipe this off so I mean I feel like that this is great for a great investment for travel or I don't know if it's if you wanted to store your art products or um, I don't know your skincare I guess this could be like stored for skincare or something but I just like it that's a one-stop shop kind of investment you know I don't have to put my um, although I have a bag for brushes I have my pencils I could have like no it just keeps everything home. like compact and it's compact. great for, especially if you like work and if you're on the go all the time and you just need your makeup to be in one place so. yeah and then like I know you travel so you could actually put this in your carry carry on mm -hmm. inside and um you know it, it'll just make everything compact i'm about compact right now i guess so so my final investment is a camera and it doesn't have to be this camera this is my vlog slash first impression camera slash when i'm too lazy to use this camera <laughs> this is the canon g7x and if you are wanting to get into YouTube or something like that, I do have a blog post where I talk about DSLRs, mm -hmm. but if you're not quite sure what your channel's about, this could do the trick. It's still expensive. We're talking like almost $700 after insurance. A DSLR, the one I recommend, is about the same price. It's more about like what you're gonna be doing. But not only am I talking about how important having a good camera is, just to make editing sound like life easier. Mm -hmm. What's great is I want you guys to think about like what it is that you want. Like, yes, you might have a full-time job and maybe YouTube or blogging is going to be your hobby or maybe skateboarding or riding a bike, something. That one thing that you've always been interested in doing, invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so while this camera is a camera and I'm like, oh, I recommend this camera and it's a great investment because I can throw it in my purse when I'm traveling, I can just use this. I don't have to bring like a whole 20 pound kit with me. But, but the best decision I ever made in my life was not really thinking and just doing in that moment of starting my channel. Right. Um, it was a hobby at first. It was a passion and hobby that got a little out of control where I didn't want to work anymore. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys don't, I was an actor. So me not wanting to work was kind of a bizarre thing. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. <laughs> right. you know, and we knew it was a problem when I was actually working on set and I was mad because I was losing light and couldn't film when I got mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. I was getting paid a lot of money to do some really easy stuff and what lots of people come to LA and die for, and I was upset. Like, you know, and that's a huge turn because how lucky am I to find something I love so much? And even if I have to quit YouTube full-time and get a full-time job where I'm not my own boss or do something else that's a full-time job mm -hmm. to provide for my family or, you know, to sustain a living in LA, I don't think I would ever give up creating content because mm -hmm. I love, love, love it. I love the community. I love just everything I've learned about myself. Yeah. Um, and that can be said with my brother's a cyclist, like an avid cyclist, and he was so excited to pick up his custom bike. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, yeah. invest in yourself. Yeah. So. So this is an object that's investing in you. Mm -hmm. So what you're telling everybody else is like find that thing that's investing in themselves and what they love and that brings joy to them. Yeah. Kind of yeah. And you might not know it, so you don't have to go and drop $700 or like $10,000 on a new cycling bike. Yeah, I use my phone. Yeah. So make sure you like it, but whatever it is, like most of the time I find it's time mm -hmm. for people. Mm -hmm. Like invest in yourself with the time because I I know you're like I'm busy, I'm a mom, I'm I'm a mom, I have a husband, I'm working full time. But invest in yourself first with time and then invest in yourself if, if whatever you need to do, do or try it. And the worst case scenario is you don't like it. You don't like it, well, you know what? Find something else. Right. Because something will, you will like something. Right. Um, so, yeah. I can I'm, tell you I'm probably the most, I feel like that I can get stuff done, but in terms of organization, I'm probably one of the worst people <laughs> in terms of organization. And I think motherhood is just an, is a crazy adjustment. 
So these are products that kind of get my life, like get your life type of thing back together. So this is called eBags. I got this off of e wait, e not eBay. eBags e off of Amazon. Oh, they actually have a site though, eBags. Yeah, eBags does have a site. Um, but have you? Yeah, do you have these? Amazing. Yeah, but I did. I bought the um, expensive versions. Yeah, I was about to say. I think there are a couple of different versions of yeah. these. Yeah, I think I paid like fifty bucks for like these five. Yeah, I paid like fifty for two. <laughs> but that's you. But you probably needed them at the time. I'm sure these are like I, yeah. Different. I ran. I ran to REI because I was like, I need these. Oh yeah. Oh that place. Look. Oh that place. <laughs> the place that just sucks your money. It sucks your money. But um. I love these. Oh my goodness. I did not realize how wonderful these were until I traveled once and my bras went into one and then my jeans and my shirts went into another and then underwear, even, socks. Huh, yes, yeah, socks and like underclothes went in another one. And the great thing about it is even after, even after they were used, I could, I didn't have to have, you know how you have that plastic bag to put all your dirty clothes yeah. in? You can put it back in here. Oh my goodness. And, and airs it out so you don't get that nasty smell. I have, and they come in different sizes, this pack. If I can remember, I'll link it down below, but see how these are different sizes? And they have the handles on here, so you can like just pick this up and take it to the bathroom because obviously a lot of times when you travel, you're not the only one there. And uh, sometimes you need the privacy of the bathroom. I'll so actually pack this. outfits like in a bag. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, and then I always have at least one outfit on my carry-on because I have this fear of losing my luggage. Yes, I think I, I think everyone. Yeah. There. So yeah. You, I can usually squeeze like my next day's outfit and a pair of pajamas in here as like an emergency. Oh, nice. And then I do outfits because this way I just pick, you know. And I feel like these teach you how to condense. Like, if it doesn't fit in this, why are you taking off? <laughs> you know? I don't know. I, I don't know if that's what it taught me. But, <laughs> you know, but I guess with five bags, it made me, since it came in five, I was like, obviously, this is oh, how yeah. much they think that I should have. But I it did teach me. This is a lot, though. But look how big this one is. This is the largest one. This is, like, for dresses, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love these, and I feel like this is such a great investment, whether it, it teaches you how to organize. Um by this actually helping me organize even when I don't have them it helps me section things off oh, before wow. I put it in um especially with having kids you know you need to section off food snacks versus everything else but I feel like this is such although this was like 50 bucks I feel like I get this is like one of my most used items um just because even if I'm not traveling I'm taking this um you could actually pack makeup in one of these yeah. or something or even your skincare or whatever so i would say that and i've just put all of those in here and now it's one item so those are our investment pieces yeah um we just want to encourage you guys to love what you have use use it and make sure that it has a pur purpose that's why we talked about investment pieces and we talked about what electronics to skincare to candles um to travel um we i'm glad we like kind of went through like everything a lifestyle mm -hmm. type of like palette thanks so much for watching you guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to head on over to serene's channel let's get her to 100,000. i'm serious like that's just me i'm just a giving person like that y'all seriously she's like this is taking forever but Hopefully not for long. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Bye.